Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie, if you're new here. And today we're gonna talk all about potty training. So I actually decided to finally make this video because after, it's, I guess it's probably closer to a year, Noble's been like potty trained and we started potty training him a little after he turned two. So it was probably like spring of last year we started. And I decided like from the beginning I was going to do the three day um, potty training method, <clears throat> which I know you can buy books on it and um, watch YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard of that. And that's just where you take three days and you stay home and you have like a potty. You don't put pull-ups or diapers on them at all or underwear or anything. They're pretty much naked. You can put them in front of a TV with their potty, snacks, whatever and you just give them a lot of fluids and have them drink and pee. And that's pretty much what we did. And so I just wanna like first start off by saying I'm like not an expert. I only have one kid that's potty trained and uh, he's gonna be three next week. And we pretty much just kinda did our own method. I didn't even read any books, honestly, cause I just wanted to just try out our own Way of doing things and personally noble was showing signs of wanting to potty train and he was um like wanting to so we had like a little potty that we had sitting in our bathroom just to get him used to it and then sometimes sit on it and act like he's going potty and so um that kind of got the idea in his head from the beginning and then it was to the point where like anytime he'd poop, he'd be like, mommy, change my, change my diaper kind of thing. And so we were kind of like, okay, we should probably start potty training. And I know a lot of people say just like wait until they're ready, which is true. Um, I personally um, have seen a lot of toddlers and like some toddlers don't want to potty train at all. So I think a lot of the times we have to help guide them and get them interested because if you totally wait until they're ready, then they could be like three and a half, four. And some people do that and that's totally fine, but I personally didn't want to do that. Also because I have a one and a half year old little boy and then we're expecting another one in, a, in like a month. <laughs> so I was like, I need one kid potty trained. Um, anyway, so we also, our three day method ended up being probably like a week long um, of just staying home and just working through giving him lots of fluids and um, having him sit on the potty and having him have naked time and like pretty much he did not wear a diaper at all during the day. At nap times we put a pull up on him and bedtimes we did. For like a week straight it was just like getting the idea in his head and getting it to click and by the end of the week he was like he got it. We also did like a prize box and I think that really helped. And so every time he did go potty, he got to go pick out a prize. And, and this like little prize box, I did like fruit snacks and like candy and like stuff he wasn't used to having. Um, that was like really fun for him. And that really helped a lot. At first we started off with like M&Ms and stuff. And then that wore off really fast. And he's like, I don't care about an M&M. <laughs> and so I was like, we're not giving up. But I will say it probably took a good solid month to like not have accidents and then after that because for a while after the whole the first week of it clicking he would probably have an accident maybe twice a week and then it just gradually got to the point where he wasn't having accidents and then i cannot i honestly i don't can remember the last time i had an accident we did for a while and i saw this from a girl on instagram one of her potty training highlights I think her handle's Heidi Marie or something like that. And she has all boys. She just had her first daughter. But she was saying she put her boys in pull-ups when they would go out and run errands. And so after they were like potty trained, they would do that because they were still little enough to where they didn't, they would be sitting in their car seat and like not realize they were peeing. And so we did that with Noble pretty much after that first week. And then recently, probably two, three months ago, we stopped doing that. And now he's just in underwear all the time. But at home, he would be in underwear and go potty just fine. Um, but when we'd go out, he'd wear the pull-ups. So we stopped doing that recently. He also stopped wearing pull-ups at nap times. Um, 
because he, he would potty before nap time and then sometimes potty after. So he was doing naps totally fine without pull-ups and having accidents. So, but in bedtime, he does still wear pull-ups. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we did. The reason why I haven't really talked about this very much, um, take it that it's almost been a year that he's been like body trained. It's just because there's a lot of voices out there and a lot of opinions. Body training can be one of those things that moms judge other moms for. And I just didn't want to be another voice that was like, this is what we do, uh, kind of thing. But um, I have gotten questions from some moms and I figured after almost a year, it was about time to put a video out there talking about this, just because I personally was looking for videos like this whenever um, I was, uh, we were about to potty train Noble. I didn't read books, like I said, but I did watch videos from some of my friends here on YouTube. Wilson from the Wilson Homestead, she's got a good video. And that's kind of the method I followed from what she was talking about. And I'll link her video down below too. And I think I asked some questions on Instagram maybe and got a lot of uh, opinions and like advice just to kind of get myself prepared for it. And leading up to potty training, I had purchased his underwear, pull-ups, the potty seats, like a little travel potty. Oh, that was another thing I want to talk about. So we did buy a... Okay, I had to start recording on my phone because my SD card is full. really need to buy a new one. <laughs> um, but we did buy a little like travel potty that has like a lid and everything. And so we would take that in the car uh, for a while in the beginning um, just in case he was like, I want to go potty. Then he had the opportunity. Um, and then for a while until recently, I would say probably the first six months of him like being potty trained, he was too nervous to go on a potty in public. And I don't blame him, they're loud, they're big, <laughs> there's people around. And so I would, I kind of worked with him slowly on that. Um, so if I was going potty, I would talk to him about it, like if we were in public, um, I'd be like, yeah, mommy's going potty on the big boy, on the big potty. Um, and so it was kind of like getting, he was getting used to it in a way. And then I would ask him, do you need to go potty? And he'd always be like, no. And so recently we were at a restaurant. This was like back in November or October, I think. Uh, we were at a restaurant and he did have a pull-up on and um he was like mommy mommy gotta go pee pee gotta go pee pee and i was like oh okay well let's go potty then so i took him to the bathroom he walked in we went to the stall and he's like no mommy no go pee pee and i was like okay well that's fine and so it came out and then he was like no mommy go pee pee and so we went back in and i uh you know put toilet paper down and set him on the potty and everything and held him and he potty and he was like whoa and he I was like you just went potty on the big boy potty and like made a big deal about it and had him um help flush and everything like then use hand sanitizer and everything because it's just gross but <laughs> that was like the first time that he really wanted to potty out in public and so after that that's how it kind of clicked um also he um uh we have a little friend that uh, his mom has watched him and they hang out together him and this little girl and um, she's potty trained too and she would always like hop up on the potty and without a potty seat or anything and just like hold herself on there so Noble saw her do that one time and that's how he gave up his potty seat and now he does that he'll just hop up on the potty and brace himself on there so if you have other kids that potty um then your ones that you're potty training will probably see what they're doing and like want to do that quicker i'm thinking that's how field's gonna be we'll see um but so i'm really thankful that that worked out really well so thanks to that little girl noble just kind of potties like a big boy all the time now so we don't use potty seats um uh honestly i wouldn't i wasn't even gonna force him not to use one i think as long as he wants to use one that's totally fine we just haven't used him anymore because he just figured out how to not use it. Um, but we did have potty seats. Um, we used the portable potty for a really long time. I think for probably six months. And then he transitioned to the potty seat. Um, and then he decided he didn't want to use that anymore. So he potties like a big boy. Pretty much occasionally he wants us to help us get on. He wants us to help him get on the potty. 
um, if he's just like not feeling it. <laughs> so um, we did have a stool, but he doesn't want to use the stool anymore. But uh, that's pretty much uh, how Noble was potty trained. Lots of cartoons, lots of juice. We did use juice. We don't normally give our kids juice, um, but we would like give him juice and like dilute it and everything um, to get him to drink liquids for that first week and lots of snacks. I bought a lot of like processed stuff and junk food. And I feel like that was like what really helped get it to click for him was just like making it really fun. And I got him underwear and I will say, we didn't really enforce the underwear thing until probably six months after. He would just like wear pants or shorts at home without underwear because it was like the underwear kind of was still restrictive and made him feel like he had like a pull up on. And so he'd still pee. And so we took the underwear off and then he like would never pee or have an accident. So, but we went places, he'd wear the pull-ups until now he is starting to wear, he wears underwear whenever we go out, go out and stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much our whole potty training experience. I think that's everything that I wrote down that I wanted to talk about. So honestly, if you're the researcher type, you can read books. There is a book on, I think, the three-day potty training method. I've heard mixed things about it. Like the lady that wrote it was really opinionated and really like, if your kid doesn't potty train in three days, then, you know, I could be totally wrong. I think it's the oh crap potty training method. I could be wrong. Um, but I just was like, you know what? I'm not gonna read any of the books. We're just gonna try and figure this out. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, just go for it, pick a week. You and your husband, that was another thing. Taylor stayed home with me. I think he had like several days off and then um, he had to go back to work the last couple of days. But so the first start of the potty training week, he was home with me and so that helped a lot. Don't think I would ever do it by myself, <laughs> strictly by myself, um, cause that would just be a lot of work. So anyway, that's what we did. And yeah, it's worked out great. He so anyway, if you guys have any questions on like what we did, just leave a comment down below and I will try and answer it for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of what we did. A little bit of mixture of the three-day potty training method and just like kind of making it a boot camp for him. And like, this is what we're doing this week. We're not going anywhere. We're staying here. And you're going to be potty trained by the end of this week. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to